Hey guys, Thunderstud here, and today we are revisiting a free-to-play Dark Magician deck because a friend of mine who comes back and forth between Duel Links was restarting again and he wanted to start a fresh Dark Magician. So with the new card, Summoner, Summoner's Art, you can add a Dark Magician. So it's like we have five copies of Dark Magician. That makes you less reliant on things like Dark Magical Circle or Navigation. We can run more rods to search those. So really, it's pretty free-to-play friendly. I've run two Cosmo Brains because he's in two different... Um, uh, ch -ch -ch I can't think of the word. Structure decks. He's in two different structure decks. So you can do that entirely with gems. Uh, this dude's an old card. You might not have this guy, but he's pretty not important. You can use any spellcaster you want a special summon with navigation. He just has cool little effects we use. He's pretty old school, honestly. And uh, one Illusion Master. Our extra deck still follows the rules. Just one copy of our um, structure deck. Why can't I think of that word today? Structure deck boss monsters. And then last but not least, we have super old school Champion's Vigilance. If you control level 7 or higher normal monster, when anything happens, pretty much just destroy it. Except monster effects, I'm noticing, but still a very, very strong card. Limited to one for a reason. It used to be in Turbo Red Eyes, where you could get multiple and just a vanilla Red Eyes on the field. It was uh, pretty fun. I actually really loved that deck. But from here, I was surprised with Summoner's Art, how well this does free to play. Obviously, there's no Apprentice Magician, which is the new way to play Dark Magician. She is very good. I don't think you would even need Summoner's Art with Apprentice, so slowly work to that. Until then, it's just some free-to-play Dark Magician for uh, people who, you know, come back and forth, only play Blue Eyes and Dark Magician, which is a surprising way a lot of people play. But uh, I'm not knocking it, so I hope you guys enjoy, and thanks for watching. Alright, here we are facing a Mako. We're going second, going for a rank up. He's getting wins through Platinum, no problem, especially this late in the season. We start with a Champion's Vigilance, so that's going to be really fire. Only would have been better if we went first, but we're okay. We got another Summoner's Art, so we got two Dark Magicians. We got to uh, start with the Cosmo Brain, then go to the Magician's Rod, search a Navigation. Now we have a Champion's Vigilance, a Navigation, that both will be live. The navigation won't be live till we have fewer monsters on the field, but Champion's Vigilance will be live. And we'll be really close to finishing our opponent. He is um, Water Xyz, I guess you would call it. And Champion's Vigilance guys can even stop a monster summon, cost you nothing. You just have to have a Dark Magician now. We're going to use our Magician's Rod to add to our hand. That way Navigation would be live. We didn't get to use it, but Navigation would have been live. So uh, great, great stuff. Alright, here we are facing Silvio. So in that first replay, we could have OTK'd him with uh, Eva Magician, returning the one monster to the hand. But I really wanted to show off Champion's Vigilance, so I left the vanilla... Dark Magician, but other than that, you want to bring out your Ebon Magician, or not the Ebon High Magician, the, the other Xyz. And then, uh, this boy, or it is Ebon Illusion Magician, so then you would special summon a Dark Magician, when he attacks, you would return to the hand here, we have a Dark Magical Circle, go into Navigation, two Dark Magicians and that, he Missile Space Typhooned our Dark Magical Circle, we're going to chain or I guess it's not chained. We're going to trigger our Magician's Navigation. Get a little Dark Magician cutscene there. I don't know where I got this OG Dark Magician. I used to not have this. I uh, converted it super early on to get a Relinquish. But uh, they gave it to me again somehow. Now look, two Kyroids. We have Kaiko. Kaiku. He's going to try Lightning Vortex. We're going to navigate. He is Abyss. But Kaiku makes it so you can't banish from either player's graveyard, which means he's Kyroids, can't banish, and he gets swung on. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Draco King running Cyber Dragons. He's got 25 cards. We have a Dark Magical Circle, we have a Rod, we have a Curtain. 
He's starting with Natchester, throwing away Pharos. Pharos is going to do a fusion for a Rampage. Rampage is at a mill. And he calls it there. He's even running Toon Cyber Dragon. We get a Cosmo Brain, which means we're going to use Dark Magical Circle. We don't get anything. Now we're going to use Rod instead of Curtain. That way we can start Delusion Magic. That's going to turn into two Dark Magicians. Now we can use one with the Cosmo Brain. And we can turn Cosmo Brain into a Dark Magician from the deck. Why are we going to do that? That's going to trigger our Dark Magical Circle. So we're going to be able to banish. We should have banished the Pharos. I think I banished the Rampage though. So uh, we banish the Rampage, destroy the Pharos. And continue the duel. He's got two cards. I think he does make a very solid comeback though with just two cards. As he's going to use Core from the Graveyard to bring out a Notchester. Notchester is going to special summon Pharos. Beer is going to special summon from the hand. And he is right back in. So now I think he uses Pharos to fusion those two. Now he's got another Rampage Dragon. Now he's going to mill with or destroy our Dark Magical Circle, then mill. Now he's going to evolution. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. He, evolution Beer. He had the Evolution Beer to five. That brings the Nova. Nova brings the Cyber Dragon. Nova gets rid of the Cyber Dragon to swing on the Dark Magician. We still don't have Destiny Draw, but we draw Dark Magical Veil which will give us Destiny Draw range as well as the Dark Magician. We're able to swing over Infinity. I set Kaiku. I don't want to get Sucker Punched into an OTK. He has to keep the monster there. Now we get our Destiny Draw. Destiny Draw Champions Vigilance, guys. It's too good. Swing with Dark Magician. Hit him with Kaiku. We get a Banish too. We banish both the Beers. You, ban you get to Banish when you uh, do damage with him. He goes Quick Play, Cyber Load Fusion. We Destiny Draw Champions Vigilance. You're usually going to want a Destiny Draw Champions Vigilance. And he gets dunked on. I believe that back row is nothing but a bluff. So we bluff a Dark Magic Curtain of our own. And our boy is hit for lethal. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here's the set of Kaiba. We're going second. Let's see what our boy's got for us. We have a Dark Magician, Cosmo Brain, Magician's Rod. Of Dark Illusion, he's gonna set a back row. We got Kaiko, so too many monsters in our hand, really. We're gonna search Dark Magical Circle with Rod. Then we have Navigation, we're gonna bring out Cosmo Brain, that's gonna bring out a Dark Magician by tributing Rod, that's gonna trigger Dark Magical Circle. And we banish that Ancient Stone. Now we're swinging for what would be lethal, but he does have a counter gate. Now he's going to set a back row, set a monster once again. We do have a navigation, not quite live. Kaiku is going to make it so he can't banish from his graveyard. He's going to counter gate once again, but still not enough to delay us from getting him lethal. Wasn't getting monsters apparently too to normal summon. Great, great stuff. Alright, here we are facing the My Valentine. We're going first round tiny win streak. He's on a bigger win streak, even using Obelisk for his sleeve and mat. Here we have a Dark Magical Curtain we're going to start with, and obviously we can't do anything else. Could have started with some Magician's Rod, but uh, wouldn't have been much of a better field against a Harpy. Thankfully that boy only has three back row. We're going to Destiny Draw Champion's Vigilance. So that's the combo I was waiting for, that's why we got the vanilla out there. Now we have a Live Champion's Vigilance, now we go the Dark Magical Circle. We even have a Dark Magic Veil to special summon the Illusion from our hand that does trigger Dark Magical Circle. He is in fact Harpies, we got Hysteric Sign out of the way and just hit his brick for lethal. Great, great stuff guys. So uh, most of the time, Destiny Draw is going to be searching Champion's Vigilance. Just such a cool card, I really love Champion's Vigilance, I miss it. As a card, I think it's about time it can be unnerfed. It doesn't stop monster effects. So if a monster is already on the field and you're trying to stop it with Champion's Vigilance, it's not going to work. I think it, I think it's fair. I don't think people are going to turbo just vanilla red eyes out and you run Champion's Vigilance. Who knows, maybe they will. But then you can just hit red eyes and keep Champion's Vigilance from there. I don't know, Konami. Let's see a little more. I don't think it needs to be on the one. Let me know what you guys think. Dark Magician stays an accessible 
archetype, and I think that's how Konami wants it. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.